Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 51. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Okay, when last we left off, we are here in the barn in Pleasant Valley, just about to set out. My hope is to get across the valley here. We're going to try to get to the farmhouse. In the last episode, we did uh, leave everything in uh, position, ready to go for our, uh, our trek. Um, and I still can't help looking over everything. Uh, old habits die hard, I guess. Um, all right, let's check the weather. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's really nice. Looks like a perfect day for traveling. It's a little bit on the cold side, but I, I think we're just going to go for it. Um, let me see. We do have our revolver, which is nice. We're actually able to use that now. The 85 extra rounds. Plus, what, I think we have like six in the... One, two, three, four, five, six. We got one, two, three. Yeah, we got six. The six shooter, right? We got six in the the revolver, and 85 extra bullets. Just make our way over to the farm now. Oh, we got a wolf. Okay. Well, here's our first chance to use the gun. I may have hit him. I was actually trying to center him in our screen. I don't see any blood though. I don't think we don't think we hit him. Um, okay, there's the uh, radio tower in the distance. So one nice thing about the gun is uh, I don't have to worry about tracking down the wolves to try to get back my arrows. And uh, we don't have to travel with the, a torch, which is kind of nice. Although, you know, I probably could get a free fire. Seems like we have plenty of sunlight right now. Um, now, I don't remember if we've killed the bear in this area so I, I do want to whoa a little bit of lag do want to keep my eyes out don't remember if we killed the bear here or not okay guys well I've done so much thinking and processing since the last episode um, I really really have been putting my mind to task trying to decide what is our next step and I've had some really good input from you guys um, different different opinions on what we should do next uh, oh I got some crows up ahead wonder what that is might be a deer maybe by the way I want to check our scurvy risk I think we are yeah we're, we're getting kind of kind of high on the scurvy risk department which I'm a little bit worried about Wait. So cold. Warming up a bit. Now we are carrying, uh, I believe we're carrying enough equipment to try to get the, uh, what, the Travois crafted up. I might want to do that. Uh, oh, it's probably a dead guy, huh? That's probably what we have here. Taking a little bit of cold damage. Let's go see what, uh, what these crows are going on about. When I get to a warm place, I, uh, I'll reload the revolver and pick up the shell. I want to kind of try to keep moving here. I'm going to put the gun away so I don't miss fire. Alright, we got a dead guy. Oh, I've already searched him. Okay. Uh, more crow feathers. Alright, let's... I wonder if I, if I hit number two. Okay, yeah. You know, let's just re let's, uh, reload. I should drop a casing. I'll take it. There we go. All right. Let's keep going. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've, I'm not quite sure how to approach this subject uh, as far as our destination. Um, maybe once we get inside, I'll get a fire going. We can sit down and have a powwow, and I'll tell you guys some of the thoughts that have been brewing and stewing and oh hey guess we don't need a deer it's already pretty cold all 
I would like to look where we left the uh, the rifle too. I, I wonder, did did we leave both rifles back at uh, Mystery Lake? I can't remember. But I I kind of am missing the rifle now. Um, so I I think if I could only have one weapon, it would be the bow. Uh, the bow is definitely probably my favorite weapon. Um, but there are some benefits to having the revolver, just like you saw, like scaring away wolves, not having to get in a struggle. Um, the rifle is amazing for taking down large animals. So nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think the bow is my favorite. But of course we are now trying to level up our uh, riflemanship and our, our uh, revolver, small guns, whatever, shooting. Hey, it's good to be back at the house. Be nice to unload all this gear. Kind of get organized. Oh, it's such a nice day. Visibility is so good. Oh, I'm hearing something. Is it just the wind? Might just be the wind. All right, let's get inside. We got some, uh, got some meat. We could cook that up. You know what I just noticed when we were on that uh, patio? I had three arrows going up. So if we had cabin fever I'm guessing you know I'm gonna check that let me check this again yeah look at this I've got three arrows going up so if I did have cabin fever we could technically I think we're considered outside right now but we're warm I, I think that's how that works so anyway it's nice to know we could uh, we could warm up here and uh, get rid of cabin fever Okay, nice. Welcome back to the farmhouse. I'm going to drop this meat so I remember to cook it. Got our glitchy uh, journals we've been reading. They're either journals or phone books or both. I, mean, I don't know. There's so many of these books throughout Great Bear Island. Seems like everybody has one. Maybe it's the Bible or something. <laughs> I hate to think we're burning the Bible every time we warm up. Uh, what do we have here? All right, we left a bunch of stuff. Of course, that's just going to be firewood now. We've already leveled up that. Got another can opener. Various uh, miscellaneous stuff. Can I put this here? That's probably why it's on the ground, huh? Okay, I've got some clothing. I'm going to move these out of the way. I got some scrap metal. Okay. Well, let's uh, figure out what I'm going to drop here. Because we did bring a bunch of stuff with us from the barn. Oh, we got all these matches. Definitely going to leave some matches behind. Um, let's leave... Let's leave... Oh, how many matches do we want to leave here? Kind of depends on where we're going, I guess, huh? Um, for now, I'm going to leave... Sleep 10. And I may, you know, I may have already left some matches. Did I leave some over here? No. Oh, you know, I should have brought the skillet. Did I, did I bring the skillet? I probably didn't. I probably left it behind. Yeah, I think I, I think I left the skillet back at the barn. Is this our, oh. Downfilled sleeping bag at 40%? Okay, this is our that's our good bedroll. Okay, so I've been hauling around this other bedroll all this time. Oh man. Um, but I do need to fix up our other bedroll. We don't really have much meat, do we? Just that one. I almost wonder if I should go hunting. 
It would be nice if the, uh, the bear were out. Um, okay, let me see what else we have. I don't want to get distracted here. Firewood. Looks good. Um, medical. We do have the extra stim. Let's put this on the table here. Can I get you on there? There we go. Otherwise, that looks pretty good. No extra clothing that I know of. Got lots of food. Um, drop one of these. Drop one of those. Drop a couple of these. Look at all the coffee. Um, you know, I'm going to drop five cups of coffee. It's kind of a nice central location. Where do we want to put these? About right here. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I like leaving uh, I like leaving the loot here rather than the barn. I think this is a little bit more central. Uh, looks like we're pretty low on water. I'll need to make up some uh, water here pretty soon. I might need to start eating more cattails so we can try to get rid of this um, vitamin C deficiency scurvy. Okay, we got a couple gun cleaning kits. I might I might carry those with us. For now, you know, I'll drop one of them. If we depart here, I'll probably take it with us. Or when we depart, of course. Um, what else? We got the tools. I, I do like having these with us. These tools have been really nice. Yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, we do have a ton of feathers. And, of course, we got... Oh, did I forget the deer hide? I did. I actually wanted to bring a bunch of deer hides over here. Uh, I probably should have checked the barn before we left. I thought it would be kind of nice to make the Travoice. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of regretting that now. Um, but let's, you know, let me move this. Yeah, I should have checked. All right, we've got uh, cured birch saplings and cured maple saplings. Little bit of metal. Got a whole bunch of guts. I'll keep one gut with us, I guess. Um, now, why am I still heavy? After dropping all that stuff, why would I be heavy? Uh, of course, we got the feathers. Let me get rid of some of those. Where are you, feathers? There we go, 66 feathers. Um, let's do 30. I'll put 30 feathers in here. Nine cloth. I need to do some repairs, actually. Um, let's check the time. Do have a little bit of light. Need to get our bedroll back up to a good condition. Yeah, let's go. Nice, hundred percent. Okay. As far as clothing goes, yeah, some of our clothing are getting actually pretty low. Oh, we got a storm coming up outside. Okay, 100% wool socks. Let's fix our underwear. Try it again. See if we're getting low on water. 
I might take some uh, damage here from being thirsty. It's okay though. Um, 85%. I might, I might wait a little bit on the aviator hat. 73 on the pants. Sure, let's let's fix them up because we're gonna get some um, sewing leveling up, sewing skills. And they're low. Okay, there we go. 100%. I'm feeling better about that. Oh, we do have a little bit of water here. Okay, good. Let's grab that. I'm going to get a drink. I want to see what kind of wildlife we have outside. Because we are getting kind of low on food. I hate to dig into our uh, packaged goods. If I can avoid it. Okay, let's drop these low quality torches. One, two, three, four. So it leaves us with four somewhat decent torches. Still don't know why we're heavy. Um, so I'm not carrying all that much. Just barely heavy though, but still. Why am I heavy? Might just be everything just adding up, I guess. We do have, oh yeah, we got all those bullets. Those are pretty heavy. Um, I'm going to drop this just for now. And we'll drop a bunch of the bullets. Oh, wow, 84. So many bullets. Drop 50. We'll just drop all of the rifle rounds. Let's see, I'm going to get down low here. Oh, I guess we do have the, uh, we do have like that little outdoor area, right? The little, uh, Patio or what is this? A Feels like night is coming. Front porch, back porch. Um, we can get a bear here. I, I, like I said, I don't know if this is the bear that we've already killed or not. Let me get our bow out. Got a wolf over there. So I could um, I could attract a wolf. Actually, let's grab let's grab this meat. And there's also a chance if we uh, if we get a wolf attracted, and then we could probably lead him to a, a deer or something. But uh, yeah, I'm just afraid we have no meat here at the uh, the farmhouse. Okay, let me get oriented a little bit. Don't see any deer. Got three wolves. Looks like the wind is, uh, which way is the wind blowing? I don't know. Let's see if I can get a wolf to come over. Oh, they're scared. There's one. Hey, Wolfie. Come on back over this way. I kind of want to be on a hill when I take a shot. Or even flat. You know what? Flat ground is probably just as good. messed up. There we go. He, uh, he swung around the side, which made it hard for me to get a, a nice straight bead on his nose. Alright, I might get cold here. I'll have to cancel as we go. Um, 
We'll use the knife. Wait, 23 minutes? 29. You know, I'll use the hacksaw. I'll cancel if we have to. Might actually make it. A little bit of cold damage. Okay, nice. Thank you, Wolfie. Do appreciate that. Oh, and it's dark. Okay, well, so we do want to get a fire. I just lay down for a bit. We're gonna get a fire starter. Um, where do we want to cook? Oh yeah, the, we've got a six burner stove. Not a whole lot of wood though, unfortunately. Hmm. Could break down some of these for wood. How long is that gonna take? Ten minutes? Sure. All right, let's get this started. We do have the books. I can put the books on the fire. Come on, little fire. Come on. By cooking all this meat's gonna go so fast since we got the six burner stove. on the stick all right we've got two hours grab a book um let's see let me just drop all our meat Water. Okay. Well, it's nice to have a fire going. All right, guys. So here, here's some of the thoughts I've had going on in my head the last few days. So, um, I read a book a while ago called Hatchet. Uh, it's actually, one of my favorite books. It's, uh, it's just a thin paperback it's about this uh, this boy who crash lands an airplane so he, he's a passenger the pilot dies and he survives in the in the wilderness uh, fortunately he he was gifted a hatchet um, and is able to use this hatchet uh, he takes it with him on, on this trip and when the plane crashes he's got the hatchet with him um, but the hatchet really of course um, allows him to survive and at first, this this kid, you know, he's he's just totally preoccupied with getting rescued, and his thoughts are about going home. But as the book goes on, and he uh, he gets better and better at being self-sufficient and surviving, and he, I guess maybe he gave up hope about uh, being rescued. So he, he kind of just makes his new, the wilderness, his home, you know, that's his home. And he, uh, he makes it comfortable, builds a shelter and is into hunting and surviving, you know. And uh, one day he actually, well, I, don't, I hate to, here's some spoilers. <laughs> okay, if you want to read the book, you can pause or skip ahead for a little bit. Skip ahead like about a minute. So I'm going to tell you the ending of the book here. Um, at the end of the book, he does get, he gets rescued, but he's so surprised when a rescuer shows up, he'd like almost completely forgotten that he was lost, you know, and the rescuer shows up and he like invites the rescuer into his house. Like, Hey, well, come come in and share this meat with me, you know? And, uh, his home, like, it's like he's being rescued from his home essentially. Right. And he, he had just, I don't know, he just gotten so used to the idea that uh, I'm not getting rescued and this is where I'm going to survive. Well, that is kind of how I think about Great Bear Island for Astrid, that uh, she has come to the realization that this is her home now and she's not leaving. We already know she tried to get rescued. She, uh, 
if you want to check out some of my other videos, uh, we do have a series where there's a there's a, a challenge where you try to get rescued called Hopeless Rescue, and you go to the top of the lighthouse and shoot off a flare, and nobody comes. As we are alone. This island is our island. Uh, Great Bear Island belongs to Asteroid. Nobody's coming. And uh, so, kind of like in Hatchet, this is uh, this is our home, right? This is, uh, if we take a look at the map here, let's go to the world map. Everything you see here is ours. This is all our home. This is our front porch. Here's our living room. This is our basement. This is the hallway. You know, this is, and we take our time and slowly go through this, but um, the loot that, that is here, we haven't been to Broken Railroad yet. There's loot here. It's our loot. Even if even if it takes me a while to get there, it's, it's, it's my loot. It belongs to me. It belongs to us, right? This is our home. Nobody else is coming. Nobody's claiming it. Um, and so, well, the reason why I'm telling you this is there's no rush. There's no rush if I go from place to place. And um, so I kind of made the mistake. And I better, hold on, let me concentrate on the food here so I don't burn it. Okay, so these are all cooked, right? Let's grab these. I can't do two things at once. I gotta gotta kind of shift gears here. Okay, water is 32 minutes. We got a little bit of time. Let's put on some. Put on a little bit of water here. Place a can. Okay, so I made well in my I don't know if it's a mistake or not, but I I uh, I made the mistake you might call it of, of asking people where we should go next, and I don't want you guys to get upset. If we don't go where you wanted me to go, uh, I really didn't get that many responses. And honestly, all of the uh, responses I got were not where I wanted to go. So my personal opinion, I was thinking, you know what? I want to go to Broken Railroad. So we haven't been to Broken Railroad yet. Well, somebody wants to go to Black Rock. Somebody wants to go to Ash Canyon. Somebody wants to, I don't know, just go different places. And um, I don't know that I'm ready for Black Rock yet. So I might actually hold off on Black Rock until I feel a little bit more comfortable. So we just barely got a revolver. Black Rock is kind of a an end game place. Like it, it is a challenge. Like there's going to be timber wolves there. There's not a whole lot of good loot unless you really want the. I guess there's like a bulletproof vest or something there. That, but it's really heavy, you know. So I probably would never wear it. Um, Ash Canyon would be good because they got some loot there that I missed. I haven't. You know, like the, the cargo pants but I feel like I was just in there we were, we were already at Ash Canyon and it was my own fault for not exploring more and getting the pants so I'm gonna end up coming back to Ash Canyon we're gonna end up coming back to Black Rock I think I'm gonna stick to my gut we're gonna we're gonna travel probably through Mystery Lake here stop back at our house maybe do some fishing try to get rid of our vitamin C deficiency and then I might press on to Broken Railroad and then even past Broken Railroad, there's a whole nother region over here with the Forsaken Airfield um, and a new territory I haven't even been to. Um, gosh, what is it? Like some kind of contaminated zone or something. Um, and I could change my mind. You know, I may swing down to the ravine. I may go to, to Bleak Inlet. There are timber wolves here, though. Um, but I, I am kind of missing our rabbit friend, um, Larry Berry. Um, I hear a forlorn musket down at the bottom. We do have that carrot. Been meaning to give him. So I don't know, but the point is um, that no matter where we end up going, we're home, right? This is our home, Great Bear Island. Um, it's all it's all ours. We're all going to hit these places eventually. Um, there's a there's a famous poet named John Lydgate, and he had a saying that. Uh, it goes something like this. You, you can please some of the people all of the time and all of the people some of the time, but you can never please all of the people all the time. And I'm afraid that's, as a uh, as a YouTuber, producer, whatever, I think that is that is true, that I hopefully make you guys happy as we, we just go and from the seat of our pants and walk around. But 
I know um, I'm probably not going to make everybody happy all the time. It's kind of ironic. Um, I would drink almost Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Abraham Lincoln twisted that quote. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln took that quote and, and said, um, you can fool some of the people all of the time and all of the people some of the time, but you can never fool all of the people all of the time. It's kind of a kind of an interesting uh, take on that. Oh, we're doing so good for water now. Let me pick this up. Drop any of this gear. Um, well, let's see. I'm going to take a torch. I think we're good for tonight. Yeah, we got all this meat. Belly's nice and full. I'm glad we took that wolf down. Because I, I hate to eat our canned goods. If we can avoid uh, digging into some of our stores. Let me put this outside. And I'll probably go up to sleep, I think. Puts out on the porch. There we go. Oh, let's get inside. Okay, I'm not super tired. Um, maybe I'll break some of these down. Get some cloth. Break these down for sticks. Pretty low on fuel, actually. How much cloth do I have? Uh, two? Okay. I could always break these down if we need to. Alright, let's head up to bed. Yeah, I hear you. Where's the bedroom? Okay, I'm gonna put out the. You know what? Let me go by the by the curtains so I can break these down in the dark. All right, let's put out our torch and then um, get a drink. Okay, I've got these clothing items we could break down. Break down the hoodie. Okay, what's our cloth at now? Four? Seems uh, seems about right. You know, actually, I might go a little bit more. Can break these down. Yeah, let's grab these. Okay, let's drink up. And I'll sleep as long as it will let us. Um, I think we should heal up. Hopefully we'll heal all the way up. Let's try. Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning. Alright, good morning everybody. Let's see what time it is. Oh, the sun is just coming up. Let's get a drink. Yeah, I'll stop about there. All right, still kind of dark. I think I can fumble my way downstairs. I think I want to take inventory real quick of what we are leaving behind. So we, uh, let's see, do I want to carry these? How many, how many uh, saplings do I have? Don't have any, okay. Let me pick these up, see what we have here. I think I'll leave the metal here. Didn't I have a pile? Oh yeah, right here. Got some metal here. Maple sapling, okay. Got lots of guts. Our tools, and bullets. Definitely taking the bullets with us. How much water do I have? Oh, we got plenty of water. Okay. Got a stick. You know, I'm going to take some charcoal. Six charcoal. Um, 
Have I mapped the... Uh, I don't think I've mapped this house yet. So let's go outside and map first thing. I think I can map right here on the porch. Let's try it. Yeah. Nice. Got our house on the map. A little bit chilly today. Don't want to head out just yet. Okay, I'm going to drop some charcoal here. Drop five of them. Five charcoal? Okay. And then I'll leave a bunch of guts here. I probably only need to take one gut with me. So we're leaving 11 guts. And drop a maple sapling. Uh, probably drop some birch saplings here. Drop, uh, we'll drop three. I think that's good. And we have all those feathers in here, right? I think I put the feathers. Yeah, 30 feathers. Okay, so let's start uh, writing all this down. So I think I had seven, eight, nine, ten, like eleven, something like eleven guts. Let's go to our notebook here. Let's find um, Pleasant Valley farmhouse. So we're leaving, I think it was like, was it 10 or 11, something like that? Guts. Um, five metal. Had one maple. And was it like three? Um, Spruce? I can't remember. Was that what's the name of these? Is it spruce? Oh birch. Okay. Don't know why I was thinking spruce. Uh, where are you? Farmhouse, there we go. Three birch. Um got two crackers. Cooking supplies. Uh, I do have the can opener. I should. Uh, oh, and the stem as well. I do want to take one cured leather. Let's take the firearm cleaning kit. Okay, so I'm leaving some matches, the can opener, and the stem. Let's see. Farmhouse. There we go. Matches, stem, and capital letters. Um, can opener. What else? A little bit of coffee. We'll leave that as a surprise. Yeah, I think that. Oh, I, sh I should note the feathers. Don't know. Don't know if it matters, but. Since I'm leaving the uh, saplings and stuff. Farmhouse. I'm going to add a little bit of space here. Let's see. Well, no, I guess that's all right. Thompson's Crossing, Bear Cave. Okay. We'll leave, a, leave a space there. Okay, farmhouse. We do have 30 feathers. And I think, I think that is it. Probably good to go. I do want to get a little bit of meat before we head out. Yeah, we'll eat a little bit more. May as well get full. How much water did we have? Was it three liters? Okay, yeah, that's good. Let's drink up. Should be good. Uh, temperature's not too bad. Well, wait. No, it just got bad. Okay. Grab these. 
Thank you, Wolf. Appreciate the uh, dinner and breakfast. Head over to the barn over here. We should come up with another name for this because we got two barns here in Pleasant Valley. We got the barn, the big barn, and then what do we what do we call this one? It might already have another name. I just call it the barn, but can't think of what it would what it would be called. Let's get our gun out. Um, I wouldn't mind spotting the bear if there is another bear. I think there can be a bear over that way where we're headed. Um, he's the one that kind of I think he patrols up to the tower there. I'm looking forward to making a travoice. Um, if I could do it over, I would have I would have made a travoice at the at the barn we just left. I should have made one, but I think we do have some deer skins um, back in um, Mystery Lake. My fingers feel numb. So. With the cured cured birch that we have, we should be able to make a travoise over there. And uh, you know, it's just extra weight for now. I don't, I don't know if it's all that helpful until we get over where there's actually some meat and stuff. Oh, it's too cold. Yeah, I thought I'd try it. To be honest, I don't really need the rabbit. Um, I do need to warm up though. I really like the bow. Really like the bow and arrow. Let's go inside and warm up. bow away. Got some cured guts. Did I leave anything else here last time we were here? I think I left some rabbits here. Of course they'd be long gone. They've uh, they've deteriorated. Could take some charcoal. How much do we get? Four. Okay, not too bad. Um, I think there's a bed here. I might just lay in the bed and... Yeah, right there. Let's... Um, just pass some time, I guess, till we warm up. Right there. Nice and warm. Laying in the hay. Um, you know, I think I do have a bunch of torches that I probably should drop. I forgot about that. Let's sort by condition. Yeah, I got all these torches. We do need to go through the cave coming up here pretty soon. Well, let's see what the weather's like. Okay, so I do have one gut with me, right? Um, maybe I'll take these with me. Since we have all those guts over at the farmhouse, I'll take these. We could either carry them back with us or just drop them somewhere more convenient or more, I don't know, kind of spread out the, uh, the resources, I guess. Um, get out our revolver. I am a little bit worried about the bear. I think this is the right way to get back to uh, to our transition cave. Now I got to be really careful. Now that we have the revolver, it'd be really easy to miss fire. When I'm picking up sticks and stuff, so I gotta be kind of like carrying a torch, you know. You could uh, misuse a match or something. It's the same with the revolver. The button that I use to pick up sticks is the same button for firing. I try to keep my ears open for the bear. There's a rope climb right there.
don't hear anything. I've got a bear cave over uh, right by the rope climb. Right there. Now I'm a bit heavy and we're heading uphill, so that looks like I might have a sprain risk here. That's where we gotta go. Straight up the mountainside. Oh man, guys, if you've ever gone up a hill in the snow like this, especially in deep snow, it is so exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. Um, I think I've mentioned before that I've built a cabin in the woods, and in order to get to the cabin, you have to traverse up a hill like this. And uh, we do go there in the winter sometimes, and uh, boy, it is really quite a struggle to get up the up the mountain sometimes. Well, I'm gonna get a sprain. See if I can get up here before it uh, kicks in. Did it level out? Oh good, I think we got rid of the sprain risk. Okay, no sign of the bear. We are cold. I've never felt so cold in my life. I could press on, let's see, we could go up to the radio tower and warm up. Or I think there are some caves over here. And of course we do have the transition cave. So I'll just uh, I'll push on a little bit, see see what uh, what we come across. Otherwise, we could stop and make a fire, and try to warm up. Oh, hello, Wolfie. You can come along with us. Um, if we find a cave, I might invite the wolf for dinner. Let me just have a look around. He's going to follow us. He is welcome to come along. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of worried about the cold and the, uh, the weather changing. Let's head over here. I think there is a cave over here. If we're going to have Wolfie over for dinner, we're going to need some sticks. Yeah, it looks like the weather's changing. I hope this is where the cave is. Yeah, I think this is it. You know, he might just go for these rabbits. That'd be all right. I got a deer here. There he goes. Go get him, Wolfie. Well, this stuff will come in handy. It's moving too fast. Hitting them sideways is pretty hard when they're walking sideways like that. Oh, was I using my good bow? Oh, I was using my good arrows. Dang it. I forgot to switch.
Oh, hey, you're just in time, Wolfie. Well, he he made up for my he made up for my inadequacy there. Thank you, Wolfie. All right, I uh, let's see. Let's drop these. Get a fire right here. Yeah, let's use a we'll use a book. Have a hundred percent chance of success. Come on, little fire. I'd like to get the rabbit or the uh, deer hide. Kind of why I'm doing this right here. Okay, let's check the temperature. Slowly warming up. Hopefully that will go in the, in the uh, yeah, there we go. We're actually warming up now. Um, you know what, I'm gonna put some water on. You don't need much. And right, we'll get the meat cooking on this guy. I do want the hide. Probably should have dropped the uh, meat <laughs> before I did that. There we go. Well, let's see. We got two pieces of meat here. Okay, let's harvest these guys. Oh, got another feather. One kilogram. Use our saw. Okay, I got 13 minutes. Let's get closer to the fire, Rabbit. How about right here? Okay, I don't necessarily have to cook all these. I did want to get the, the hide off of that, uh, that deer. Got more feathers. Okay, the meat is cooked. Let's go ahead and eat that. Eight minutes. Okay. Don't think I really need to cook any tea. We don't have all that far to go. Um, but you know what? I will because. We have the uh, scurvy risk. I got all these birch bark teas. Um, I'm gonna cook. I prefer not to use the birch bark teas if I can help it. So we're gonna regain all of our health when we sleep tonight. Okay, um, so I'm gonna probably leave, don't wanna leave anything in the cave. 
I don't know. Um, might take a hide. Let's get a rabbit hide. Is it gonna burn though? Okay, let's grab a hide. We are thirsty. Okay, um, I wouldn't mind leaving a gut in there curing with the rabbit hide. So we'll get one gut. Leave some water in the cave too, why not? Okay, I'm gonna heat up those teas. Let's get some torches. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Oh, I'm glad I didn't spill that. Let's drink this one. Now grab that. Uh, let's pick that up. There we go. Let's head over to the cave. I don't think we've been in this cave before. There might be some loot in here. And I think we have a hunter's blind right over the hill. You can check that out. Got some mushrooms. Let's get the uh, gut. We'll leave the meat here for now. New location discovered, Hilltop Cave. Do have a little bed here. Oh, we got some food. Grab the ketchup chips. All right, I'm gonna leave the guts here and the rabbit hide. And drop that. I do want to take the uh, deer hide with us, I think. I might also take this meat with us. The, uh, the weather's really calm, and uh, so I'm not worried about my torch blowing out. I don't mind carrying the meat with us over to the cave. We're pretty close to the transition cave. I do have lots of wolves nearby, so i got to be careful. Here's our hunter's blind. Oh wow, guys! Never know. Could Got another, reason. another revolver and a hacksaw. Those are both really good items. Uh, we don't really need another revolver. I think I'd rather have bullets, actually, but um, it is really good, though. Alright, let's make our way over to the cave. 
I hear you, wolf. I hear you. He tried to get the drop on us there. Do a little bit of an ambush. Okay, now which way to the cave? Um, I think it might be over. It's either right there or right here. I'm not exactly sure. Is that it? I think that might be it up there. So we're going to be making our way through the dam again. Well, that, uh, that's the direction we're heading. We're going to go through the transition cave and then we're going to approach the uh, the back side of the dam. The outlet of the dam, I guess. And then uh, we can make our way through the dam to uh, Mystery Lake. It's kind of the approach I'm taking here. I really hope this is where the cave is. Otherwise, I have to backtrack the other direction behind us. This is it. Nice. Okay, we found it. Okay, nice. Transition cave. Cave system, Carter Hydro Dam, environs. I'm going to leave our meat here. Ooh, got a little bit of lag there, too. Um, leave the meat here for future Astrid. Maybe I'll eat the uh, rabbit meat. I do want to take the uh, deer hide with us. It's been a while since we've been in the cave. There's uh, there's a good chance we have some more coal. I'd like to get as much coal as I can now, because I think we might spend some time fishing once we get to Mystery Lake. Try to get some fish and uh, vitamin C. And I think that would be our first real fishing expedition. I, I don't even know if we've done any fishing on this playthrough yet. Hey, we've got some coal. Nice. We still have quite a bit of loot we're taking back with us. We got all those bullets. It's quite heavy. If you've ever carried a gun with uh, extra ammunition, you know it gets really heavy. Especially the larger caliber. I'm not sure what kind of caliber this revolver is, but uh, the larger the bullet, of course, the heavier. And it doesn't take much for those to really get heavy. It's kind of funny, all the video games that uh, have like unlimited ammunition or you know tons of tons of bullets. Even even this one, you know considering how much bullets we're carrying around. Kind of unrealistic, but I mean, I'm not going to complain because I like being able to carry it. Okay, we got another deer here. I think I'll leave that. We'll leave that deer. We've got our arrows here pointing to the deer kill. We'll leave that deer for future Astrid as well. I do have the hide that we wanted. Um, yeah, I want to keep going. Let's just keep going. Keep my eyes open for coal, though. Would be kind of nice to rest up. We might spend the night in the cave here just to get our energy back. Uh, I'm not sure which way to go. I think that might be the dead end. I don't see any coal from here. 
I'm gonna keep going this way. It's not a whole lot of coal to be found today. There we go. Okay, which way? Do these do these join up? Let me check down here, see if there's any coal. Yeah, we got some coal. Nice. That was worth it. Does that keep going? No, it's a collapse. Okay, I think this is the right way to get out of here. I think these sticks respawn, so I'm going to grab them, even if I end up dropping them. Um, they can respawn next time we come in here. I'm actually really happy to be making our way back to, uh, to our home. Pleasant, uh, not Pleasant Valley, um, Mystery Lake. Camp office and uh, trapper's cabin. All right, I'm going to drop some of these sticks here. How many sticks we can? Fifteen. Take three. May as well keep the torch going, because we are going to come across some wolves. Um, as long as the wind is going to cooperate, I'll keep these uh, torches going. Can I jog? No, I'm too heavy to jog. I wanted to take that deer hide that we that we got out of the cave. The reason why is because I, I'm hoping to make a travoice maybe in the next territory um, in Mystery Lake. And I want to make sure I have another uh, hide to replace it, curing, you know. I'm going to take a cured hide. I want to replace it with a fresh hide. We have six torches left. I gotta keep an eye on my torches. I think we have the tiniest little bit of wind coming through here, a little bit of protection. rolling in. Hopefully we can make it to the dam before the weather really changes. Look how warm we've been. I haven't had to make another tea or anything. I think our bearskin coat's really helping. It is heavy though, for sure. We've already searched, I think, where those crows are. I think we already searched that, uh, the dead guy.
I might stop by the uh, the rabbit cave here and drop some of our sticks. I don't think I'll mess with the rabbits, so we'll just leave them. Looks like the fog might actually be clearing. We might get a good view of the uh, the uh, dam. Hey there, rabbits! All right, I'm gonna drop the sticks right here. Take three with us. Could try to chase him. Let's see if he'll go that way. Yeah. He might be a little bit of uh, protection for us. I can just keep chasing him. And here's the dam. Wonder where the wolves are. Okay, can I go up that way? I think this is the right way. I hope that rabbit finds his way back. He's going to be in trouble if he sticks around by the dam. So when we come out of the dam, we're going to be right by the ravine. The uh, shopping center. Don't know if I want to drop down or not. But Just thinking about options here. We haven't really explored the ravine all the way across to the trellis. If we find a rope, we could drop down by Desolation Point, but I think I want to get back to our home before we do any do any more expeditions. Get back home, drop off all these bullets, figure out our gun situation, or if we're going to carry a bow with us, or exactly what we, what we want to do. It's a nice view of the dam from here. I'm glad the uh, the weather cleared up enough so we could actually have a nice view. If I can keep this torch going, we could use the torch as we uh, get to the other side of the dam. Uh, Got four see. torches remaining. Probably a little bit on the lower quality side. But I'm actually kind of impressed with how we've been able to ration our lantern oil. I think we uh, mostly have a full lantern right now. So these torches really help to uh, save on the fuel. If we do some fishing, we're also going to get some more lantern fuel. That'd be nice. Okay, temperature is getting a little bit on the cold side. Ooh, check that out. That is a really cool looking rock. I don't think I've ever, don't think I've ever noticed uh, those colorful rocks. Okay, I'm trying to remember if there was something over here that I was supposed to get. It seemed like somebody commented a while ago that 
Maybe in these crates or behind the crates or something. I'm trying to rack my brain and remember. Maybe it was in here? Behind these boxes? I don't know. Let's take a peek inside. Is there anything in here? Check around the back side. No, that connects all the way in. I think if we break down these boxes, there might be something in there. No. I think we would we would see it. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. Somebody commented. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Well, let's go in the. Uh, we'll go inside the dam. I wonder if Astrid is afraid of heights. It'd be nice if we could have propped that door open, but we've got to make our way across the dam, guys. Long way down. Put our back to the, uh, the dam here a little bit. I, man, I don't know where those wolves went. Lucky day for the rabbit. Ooh. Alright, got a little bit of a chip out of the dam here. I think we may have already harvested the deer over here, didn't we? Yeah, we already got the deer. I wonder if we ever found the uh, the key to this lockbox. Um, all right, let's climb in. We made it to the dam. Um, where's the lockbox? Do I have the key to this? No. Don't remember where that key is hidden. Would have been nice if we found that. Oh, wow. All right, guys. Well, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. We managed to make it all the way to the Carter Hydro Dam. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to pass through here, hopefully get back to the camp office and decide where we're going from there. Thank you so much for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Please take a minute to say hello, leave a comment, or if you prefer, you can just leave a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. But most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care. Thank you.